if you were as shocked as I was when I found out you could grow popcorn. This is just normal popcorn from the shop that you would eat, but I decided to soak it in water for 24 hours and it started to sprout. I thought about this recently because it was like, it's a seed. It is a seed, so surely you could grow it. And I decided, let's just give it a go. So February, it, it was a while back now, I decided to just grow some popcorn. And this is me picking the strongest ones, that, or the biggest ones, um, out of the pile. In the end, I think we started off with 50 popcorn seeds, and they did grow. Look, they have started to grow. And from them ones, the biggest like, leaves, the biggest, strongest ones, they went into pots. Some went into the ground, some went um, just everywhere. And I was quite shocked with how fast popcorn grows it grows incredibly quickly and the root system on it it needs a lot of roots so the ones in these smaller pots had to go to bigger ones uh, this one actually fell into the pot accidentally and started to grow randomly and then we had to start protecting them from snails and slugs and birds and every, everything on above but as a project it was so easy just to throw it in them uh, as you might see some of the stems start to go purple and it's because i found out afterwards that they ain't got enough room for their roots so when I took these out of the, of the plants, their roots were just cold, round and round and round. Uh, so they need a lot of lot of room for their roots, but it was still so easy to grow. It was shocking. Uh, them hairs on top are actually like the things to pollinate them. So I found that they need to uh, go onto them hairs inside of the corns. You see those little white things there. And um, when they get pollinated, that each of them strands leads to a a kernel. So there's like 800 hairs, and they all need to like touch a um, uh, the pollen and it, it was like really it was more detailed than I thought it was but it was a little bit of fun because I still have a bag of popcorn and I could do this at any point so I say to you February just just try and plant some popcorn uh, I want to start planting more things from the house because a lot of the things we eat have seeds in them and what why can't you plant them so I uh, you wouldn't be you'd be surprised if you see a video next next year of me growing a, an orange tree or something like that and here it is this is the uh, final product um i'm under i'm wrapping it slowly you might see there that it's not entirely formed that's because then them hair things each of them hairs leads to one kernel so if you don't pollinate all the hairs then uh, you see them fibers there yeah then it doesn't get pollinated so this is edible right now i mean the uh the, the ones that didn't get pollinated will just taste of like nothing but that's corn cool. that like oh uh, wow it, I'm, I'm still in shock that this was possible to grow in the garden um from just something that you would have eaten now what i would say there are a few different varieties of corn uh popping corn is a different kind of variety to sweet corn so you'll find that popping corn is a little bit harder but they are still both corn and this is something that you can do too and this is why i'm showing you this video because i want you to try this and here's another one did you see that one that's gone more purple because it needs more root system but would you eat this is the question that is what i want to know from you would you give this a go it was such an easy um experiment to do i, I want to try with a tree i want to try with an orange tree or something like that but i think they speak for themselves that's pretty cool So maybe we'll start into a corn farmer. This is an actual field of corn that I filmed while out on the bat. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, always remember to recycle all your plants as we're doing here. Take care. Goodbye.